This is the incredible story of a kitty who is grasping for life to raise her babies. In early spring, a kind woman named Marguerite found a tricolor kitty on the street. The kitty wasn't stepping on her paw and was somehow strangely tweaking it. It was cold outside, and the cat had no warm, and, most importantly, safe place to sleep. Therefore, Marguerite decided to take the baby to the shelter, where 10, there and 11 find a place. Do not leave her on the street. At home, when the light was good, the cat's muzzle was very badly altered. Examination by the surgeon showed that there was nothing wrong with the paw and no intervention was needed. But the condition of the head was clearly not normal. The cause of the deformity was difficult to determine. Marguerite named her Kitty Trisha. The first few days she behaved more or less normally. We could see that she was weakened, that it was difficult for her to move. She was eating in a lying position, but at least she was conscious. Trisha's strange behavior began later. Marguerite noticed that from time to time, the cat seemed to fall into an unconscious state. She stopped responding to external stimuli just lay down and with a missing incomprehensible look looking somewhere into the void. At these moments, the baby wouldn't eat or drink, just lay there motionless. And after a couple of weeks, Trisha's belly became very rounded. Again, the baby was taken to the clinic, where an ultrasound showed that the kitty was in a position. Spaying her was contraindicated, and giving birth is not possible, because childbirth and the process of feeding takes a lot of strength. So such a deadlock, from which there was no way out. Marguerite, let it be, and a couple of weeks later the cat gave birth. The birth was difficult, Trisha was awake and then she went into a stupor, not responding to anything around her. After the birth of her babies, the blackouts only became more frequent. The treatment prescribed by neurologist gave no results, the periods of blackouts became longer, and the time interval between them was shorter. But when Mama Cat came to, she would lick her babies with the last of her strength, communicate with them, cuddle them with her paws. It was impossible to look calmly at this picture. The maternal instinct did not let the cat leave the world. She tried her best to give her babies the best she could. Kitty became as light as a feather, and by the time the babies began to eat themselves, Marguerite not only had to top up her feeding, but she also had to force feed the cat herself. She was no longer even able to eat. Every day in the house of a good woman was a fight for the lives of four babies and their mother cat. These babies grew up not only under the fluffy side of the mother cat, but also in the arms of humans, so they are completely tame, homely, gentle and very affectionate. 